Carvel DeWitt would like to invite you in for the freshest handmade ice cream cakes in town. No matter what the occasion, Carvel DeWitt has the cake for you. Carvel DeWitt is starting a new tradition, a free side order of our world-famous chocolate crunchies with every freshly handmade ice cream cake. Carvel DeWitt, it's what happy tastes like. There are flowers at the corner where 88-year-old Christine Karmaninsky was killed last Thursday. A big loss for the Seneca Falls community she loved and her family, including her nephew, State Senator Mike Nazolio. She's extremely vivacious, a, uh, a, f a friend to all, uh, a great uh, sense of humor, a wonderful lady who has 88 years uh, alive. That she certainly was acted uh, uh, and looked uh, much younger than those years. Police say Karmaninsky had parked her car and walked down Fall Street. Then she started to cross State Street. That's when police say she was hit by a truck. Police have not found the driver of that truck yet. They released these new surveillance pictures in hopes someone will recognize the red Volvo truck with a 53 foot white box on the back. The pictures have been posted throughout the community, everywhere from Senator Nizzolio's Facebook page to nearby truck stops. We don't have a, uh, a good identification mark on the truck that's uh, been able to be seen, and uh, we're hoping to spur somebody who might have seen that truck in the area. While the loss of Karmaninsky has left people in Seneca Falls sad and stunned. I have to wonder why the guy didn't see it, why he didn't stop, why he hasn't come forward. I went to school with her daughter, Marie. So I, I remember her a long, long time ago. And it's just, just a, such a sad thing, such a sad thing. Now people in this close-knit community are left to mourn their loss and wait for answers they hope will come soon. Jessica Kane reporting.